fresh to the New York Knicks, Dante DiVincenzo pairs up with the rising star, Quentin Grimes. Will Dante be able to elevate the Knicks to new heights? And will Quentin Grimes finally fulfill the potential that Knicks fans have all been waiting for? Let's find out. Dante DiVincenzo recent performance on the basketball court has been turning heads. If you've been following last season, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Every year, he's been shooting those long-range three-point shots better and better. Plus, when it comes to setting up his teammates for a score, he's been on top of his game. There's this metric, the AST-USG ratio, that basically shows how well a player shares the ball compared to how much they handle it. And guess what? Dante's ranking is up there, with big names like Nikola Jokic, and Draymond Green. That's no small feat. Now, some might think a high AST-USG rate means he's passing up shots, but that's not Dante's style. Even when playing with heavy hitters like Steph Curry and Jordan Poole, who are known to dominate the ball, DiVincenzo has consistently held his own, both in terms of taking shots and scoring points. But what really sets him apart are his off-the-ball moves. He's got this knack for sliding into the perfect position for kick-out threes or cutting to the basket just at the right moment. Combine that with his vision on the court, always spotting an open teammate, and you've got a player who's not just good, but downright valuable to any team. Offensively, he's improved his shooting tremendously, especially with the Golden State Warriors, hosting an impressive effective field goal percentage. But he's not just an offensive powerhouse. His defensive skills are equally noteworthy ensuring coaches don't need to swap him out when it's crunch time on defense. While he faced a brief slump during the playoffs, his comeback was admirable. Even in challenging times, his shooting consistency remained high. Dante DiVincenzo's NBA journey is quite the underdog story. From being an overlooked draft pick to earning his spot in the first round, his determination stands out. After facing setbacks with an injury and parting ways with the Bucks, DiVincenzo didn't lose hope he made a commendable comeback, proving his mettle in Golden State. Plus, his adaptability means he's an asset in any locker room, no matter the team's culture. At 27, he's still in his prime. While he might not be a star player, DiVincenzo has showcased moments of brilliance that can't be ignored. Given the current state of the Knicks, he's exactly the kind of player they need. He brings a fresh perspective, creativity, and a lot of potential. And from a strategic standpoint, Getting DiVincenzo on the mid-level exception is smart business. In the NBA landscape today, teams are always on the lookout for adaptable wing players. Securing a player from the Villanova championship team? That's just good sense, especially for the Knicks. What's especially intriguing is the high regard the Knicks have for DiVincenzo. They're looking at the bigger picture, a player with a solid 40% shooting percentage from three-point range, adept ball movement, and a commendable defensive game. Add to that his skill in catch-and-shoot situations, and he fits right into New York's game plan, especially when considering the synergy with the heart connection off the bench. And all this talent for just $12.4 million? That's value for money. Yes, there's the argument of him potentially replacing Obi Toppin, but the Knicks seem confident that DiVincenzo's addition will outweigh such a loss. Playing time might be a concern, but with his skills, DiVincenzo is bound to carve out a niche for himself. Dante is shaping up to be a key player for the Knicks, especially when it comes to three-point shooting, an area where the team faced hiccups last season. This guy isn't just about nailing those long-range shots, but his whole gameplay revolves around creating opportunities and keeping the defense guessing. The Knicks' offensive game is about to get a much-needed boost with DiVincenzo's knack for making those crucial second-side pick-and-rolls look easy. What's even more interesting is the direction the Knicks' strategy is taking. Word has it that Thibs might be shaking things up with a smaller, more agile lineup. Imagine Hart or RJ sliding into the four spot right behind Randall. The prospect of RJ playing at the four? Now, that's something I can't wait to see on the court. But let's circle back to DiVincenzo. Beyond his shooting prowess, he's got this unique ability to constantly reposition himself, especially when the team grabs an offensive rebound. He's always looking for that perfect spot behind the arc setting himself up for a pass, or making space for teammates. And when it comes to mastering this relocation game, he's right up there with Emmanuel quickly. This duo promises some electric moments this season. Yet with so much talent on the roster, there's going to be a real tussle for those precious on-court minutes. 
It's going to be intriguing to see how Tibbs maneuvers his squad to get the best out of each player while maintaining team harmony. Dante is all set to be a game changer for the New York Knicks. As fans, gear up to see a radical improvement in the Knicks' three-point prowess and a more dynamic offense, courtesy of DiVincenzo's stellar skills. While whispers of quickly Grimes or Barrett potentially being on the trade block have been floating around, it's crucial to remember that rumors are just that until they materialize. DiVincenzo, if ever there's a trade, seems poised to fill in any gaps with finesse. Though major trade talks are always buzzing, the Knicks have often been conservative in pulling the trigger. And there's no harm in that. If the shoe fits, why change it? One thing is clear. The Knicks front office knows how to play their cards right. They've been adept at inking deals that don't just look good on paper, but evolve beautifully with time. Though some might argue about RJ's contract overall, their approach seems solid. The idea of trading a guard for a larger wing does sound promising. With DiVincenzo's acquisition, the team has more leeway to experiment and optimize the roster. The challenge will be ensuring every player feels valued and gets adequate court time. That said, the management needs to tread carefully. Last season's team dynamics were commendable, and any misstep could risk disrupting that harmony. Speaking of dynamics, let's talk about the Quentin Grimes dynamic for the Knicks this season. Before we talk about Quentin Grimes, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you bleed blue and orange, if you live for Knicks basketball, or if you're just a fan of the game, this channel is tailor-made for you. Quentin Grimes isn't just any player, he's got the makings of an NBA star. With a defensive edge akin to the seasoned Jay Crowder, and a three-point prowess that's steadily becoming his signature, Grimes is shaping up to be much more than a supporting act. Drawing parallels with Josh Hart in terms of playmaking, Grimes is multifaceted and the Knicks would do well to utilize his full potential. The Heat series during the playoffs painted a vivid picture. While the Knicks' strategies bore fruit in many instances, Grimes' potential seemed underutilized. Remember Game 5 against Miami? Grimes' impeccable defense against Jimmy Butler was nothing short of cinematic. The play fondly remembered as The Steal, where Grimes, despite appearing injured, managed to strip Butler, was iconic. It wasn't just a testament to Grimes' skills, but his sheer grit and determination. Coach Thibodeau's decision to frequently double-team Butler instead of leveraging Grimes' one-on-one defensive capabilities in Game 6 might have been a strategic oversight. Perhaps focusing on Grimes' ability to lock down Butler solo would have allowed other players to better contest shots from the rest of the Heat squad. Quentin Grimes has been a revelation for the Knicks. While his defensive prowess is undoubtedly a headline, it's the nuances in his game. The small plays that don't always make the highlight reels, which have been truly exciting. Those timely steals, the quick flick of his wrist to find an open teammate, and his evolving basketball IQ paint the picture of a player who's playing well beyond his years. Every successful season has a surprise element, a player who emerges from the shadows to command the spotlight. Grimes is shaping up to be that surprise for the Knicks. He's not just a scorer, he's a playmaker, capable of seizing moments and turning the narrative in favor of his team. He's the wild card, the potential game changer that the Knicks could leverage in their quest for glory. His journey to this point has been anything but straightforward. Faced with changing roles and high expectations, Grimes, backed by the unwavering support of his parents, has navigated the pressures with grace. The teachings from his parents, especially the emphasis on problem solving, have equipped him to tackle challenges head on. He isn't just making shots, he's reading defenses, anticipating movements, and setting himself up for success. And while his achievements on the court are commendable, it's clear that the foundation for his success was laid off the court, nurtured by family and mentors. Having transitioned between top-tier basketball programs, Grimes has learned the intricacies of self-reflection and the art of fine-tuning his skills. A lesson from his father about the value of a high release point in his shot underscores this adaptive journey. It's an evolution, driven by feedback, determination, and an unwavering commitment to excellence. Grimes has truly emerged as one of the standout performers for the New York Knicks. His audacious flair from beyond the arc, coupled with his ability to tackle the league's premier offensive players, has established him as a force to be reckoned with on the hardwood. From his early days, Grimes showed the inklings of becoming a star. 
remember that stellar 27-point performance during his rookie debut? It wasn't just about the numbers, but the audacity and skill with which he played, especially when many had raised eyebrows over his foot injury. And as the Knicks underwent a transformation under coach Thibs, Grimes was at the forefront, playing a central role in that jaw-dropping nine-game winning streak. His influence wasn't just a flash in the pan, but a consistent display of his burgeoning capabilities. What's commendable about Grimes is his ever-evolving game. Drawing inspiration from the play style of teams like the Warriors, he has seamlessly transitioned roles, displaying finesse as both a shooting guard and a point-of-attack guard. This adaptability reflects his understanding of the game and his willingness to adjust and improve. The constant movement, anticipation, and an improved defensive mindset have further solidified his importance to the Knicks. Moreover, the synergy Grimes has developed with teammates especially stalwarts like Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson, is palpable. Their combined on-court dynamism offers a promising prospect for the Knicks as they set their sights on a deep playoff run. In crucial moments, when the game hangs in the balance, having a player like Grimes, steady, dependable, and capable of moments of brilliance, can be the difference between victory and defeat. The trajectory of the Knicks in the upcoming seasons will hinge significantly on Grimes' growth and performance. His shooting prowess, combined with his dedication and zeal, will be paramount in guiding the team to new milestones. For Knicks fans and basketball enthusiasts, witnessing Grimes' evolution from a promising rookie to a central figure is not only heartening, but also indicative of exciting times ahead. What do you think the future holds for Dante DiVincenzo and Quentin Grimes? Drop a comment below. But that's all for today. See ya.